Yo, yo, what up? It's Graphs Kid here. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a cover art using Photoshop and Premiere Pro. All right, first we wanna make a new document. Let's name this Motion Cover Art Tutorial. A thousand by a thousand or square format. Hit Create. Let's make this background black. I already have the elements and like a pre-made cover already made. So um, just drag your images, make your art. Let's set this to screen right here. Fade this out a bit. Gonna make a simple cover art, nothing crazy. Um, artist title here. Okay. Center this out. Duplicate it. Make this the song title right here. Switch fonts up. Stylize your text. Gonna add a little outer glow to it, give it that neon sort of feel. Make it blue, you know, just cooking up a cover art pretty much, you know. All right, so I added the glows and everything, pretty much simple cover art, you know. All right, so now how to bring it in Premiere Pro. So what I do is I hide every layer. So now it's time to bring it to Premiere Pro. So what I do is I isolate every layer. So I leave this layer, save for web, diamond, let's make a new folder, let's call it Premiere Pro. Let's call this diamond. Let's make a layer for the clock or watch. Call it clock. Now what I do for the text is I like to keep it transparent and save it into a PNG. So you wanna hit JPEG and change it to PNG so it has a transparent background. So let's call this artist title. Let's do the same thing with the song title. File, export, save for web. Make sure it's on PNG, song title. Okay, boom. Okay, cool, now it's time to take it to Premiere Pro and actually animate it. So let's open up Premiere Pro, go to a new project, call it cover motion tutorial, okay. Go to file, new sequence, settings, frame size a thousand by a thousand so it can be in square format. Go to your project and import your files. Now drag it in in the order that you want it to show first. So I'm gonna drag in my background first, which is the clock image. Drag in the diamond above that. Set the diamond to screen because I want it to show I want the, the clock to show in the background. Drag the song title and then drag the artist title above it. Okay, cool. So now we basically have all of our images stacked up on each video track. Now let's drag in the song. Okay, cool. So go to effects, cross dissolve and Let's fade in the clock. Let me hide these first three layers above it. Okay, the clock fades in. Gonna unhide the diamond layer. Gonna scoot it over a bit. Gonna cross this off again. So it's gonna fade in right after the clock. A little after. Same thing with the song title, unhide it. Add a cross dissolve. Let it fade in right after the diamond. Repeat the same thing with the artist title. Cross dissolve. Lay it. You basically just made the motion cover, just a simple animation right now. Nothing crazy, just fading it in. And 
uh, I found some some diamonds falling off YouTube that I can add, you know, for just some aesthetic purposes. So you wanna just drag that above it. Notice how it has a green background. To remove the green background, hit effects, ultra key. Add the ultra key on it, go to your effects control. Now go to the key color eyedropper tool, select that green and boom. Same thing, wanna fade that in, cross dissolve. Stretch it out some more, probably right after everything fades in. Boom. They wanna turn these diamonds blue. Go to effects, tint, add a tint on there. Go down, hit this map white too, make it blue, and boom. Simple cover art, there you go, right there. Now what you wanna do now is to save it and actually put it on Instagram. I wanna just cut it off right here. Drag, select, delete it. Now what I like doing, so it's play it smooth, go to effects, fade. Fade out your song. Now go to project, make a new black video. Drag this black video on top of it. Go back to cross dissolve. So then that way it will just fade into an all black. So boom, pretty much that's it right now. Now to actually export it now to put it on Instagram, my best settings are file, export, media. For some reason, I've been having a lot of trouble with H.264. I normally use that, but Instagram has kind of been bugging when I did that. So I've been using H.265. Go to the, leave the settings as is. Um, normally I have it to seven, eight, Let's set it to eight and yeah, that's it. Output name, this changes to motion cover art, save, hit export and voila, go to your finder, open it up and boom. Have a basic motion cover art, you know, it all depends on how you want to animate it and everything. So, you know, I just did a simple fade in, add these diamonds just on top of it. And yeah, that's it. Um, send it over to yourself via Dropbox, AirDrop, and then upload it off your camera roll onto Instagram. And let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, youtube.com slash TFSKFilms, and I'm out.